Harry and Meghan blew a gasket for being ruthless toward Queen Health after Piers Morgan voiced his concern for the Queen after she was forced to pull out of the 26 Colombian pesos United Nations Climate Change Summit. It comes less than a week after she spent a night in hospital, with Buckingham Palace saying that the 95-year-old had today regretfully decided not to travel to Glasgow. Responding to the news, former GMB host Piers said that he was now officially concerned for the figurehead, suggesting that it was very unusual for her to miss such events. Piers, who is currently sunning it up in Beverly Hills, tweeted, I'm now officially worried about the Queen. Very unusual for her to miss big events like this. Hope she gets all the rest and treatment she needs. And he also not to forget to slam the Sussexes. Where are they now? Too busy to fill their pocket with their woke stock? However, some of his followers hit back as they pointed out her age and that it was sensible for her to take a break. One wrote, she's 95, Covid cases are high and there's no quarantine for the dignitaries attending or their staff. Very sensible to me. While another commented, me too. Unsurprising given her age though losing her husband will no doubt affect her health. Given time and rest, I'm sure she'll bounce back. The Sovereign had been expecting the results from preliminary investigations carried out last week by specialist doctors at the King Edward VII Hospital in Marylebone, London. Some said, Harry and Meghan could opt for a UK Christmas is growing after the Queen recently cancelled a trip to Northern Ireland and spent a night in hospital as a precautionary measure. While the palace has been keen to play down health fears for the monarch, insisting she is in good spirits, her recent hospital visit serves as a stark reminder of her advancing age. After last year's traditional royal get-together was cancelled due to COVID-19, the Queen may be delighted by the prospects of having her family reunited under one roof this Christmas. Despite some of the drama to have engulfed the couple since they stepped back from royal duties last year, Prince Harry is very close with his grandmother, with the Queen insisting that the Sussexes remain much-loved members of her family. Since their move, Meghan has not yet returned to the UK. Harry has returned twice, once for Prince Philip's funeral and once for the unveiling of a statue of his mother Princess Diana. Lilibet, who was born in Santa Barbara last June and named after the Queen, has never visited. A return trip would see the four-month-year-old meet her namesake for the first time. There has long been speculation about whether or not the Duke and Duchess would return to the UK for the christening of their daughter, raising questions about whether the Queen, now 95, will ever get to meet her great-granddaughter in person. One wrote, she's 95, Covid cases are high and there's no quarantine for the dignitaries attending or their staff. Very sensible to me. While another commented, me too. Unsurprising given her age though losing her husband will no doubt affect her health. Given time and rest, I'm sure she'll bounce back. The Sovereign had been expecting the results from preliminary investigations carried out last week by specialist doctors at the King Edward VII Hospital in Marylebone, London. Royal sources suggested it is a possibility Her Majesty would need further checkups for the unknown medical condition. The Queen will later this week record a video message to be played at a reception for world leaders she was due to host next Monday as part of the world's largest climate change conference. A palace spokesman said, following advice to rest, the Queen has been undertaking light duties at Windsor Castle. Her Majesty has regretfully decided that she will no longer travel to Glasgow to attend the evening reception of COP26 on Monday, November 1. Her Majesty is disappointed not to attend the reception but will deliver an address to the assembled delegates via a recorded video message. The message will be filmed later this week and she very much wants 26 Colombian pesos to be a success and see meaningful actions.